Hi my beauties, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a kind of like a review first impression type thing. I bought actually quite a while ago. It's been probably almost three weeks ago that I bought this stuff and I'm just now getting to reviewing and doing the first impression video of it's been a crazy couple of weeks, so I kind of just sat down and said I'm making a few videos and this is one of them. So I got the Fit Me line, pretty much. I I did a review on the Fit Me foundation for the Dewy, I don't remember what it was called, it was like the Dewy one. And this one is the new one, newest one, the Matte and Poreless foundation. And then I have the Fit Me Concealer right here. And then I also have the Fit Me, um, the setting powder, the pressed powder. And let's see, the shades for these are 120 Classic Ivory for the foundation, uh, 120 Classic Ivory for the setting powder, and then, because they did not have 120 in the concealers, I got 10 light. So I'm hoping that's not going to be too light for my skin. I'm hoping. But we'll see. We'll see how this works. I haven't really moisturized at all. I'm very bad at that. I, I really am. I'll admit it. I'm not, I'm not going to edit it. So, but we're going to see how this works on my dry skin. It's oily in the T-zone here and here, sometimes on my cheeks, you know, and then right here. But it's also dry right here and in my nose there. So, we'll see how this works. So first, I'm going to put on the concealer. I'm going to open it up. I haven't opened up any of these, by the way. Um, I just took the little plastic off of them and whatnot, but I haven't actually opened the package. And, okay. It is a, well, I don't want to tip it upside down. It is a doe foot, doe foot applicator. And I'm just going to put that on my under eye areas. And that's it. I don't really have any imperfections, surprisingly. I usually have at least one one a week, it seems like. I'm going to put my hair back so that I don't get it in my hair when I do the foundation. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Don't mind the swatches. I just did a Ipsy bag review opening type thing. And that will probably be up before this video is up, so... I'll have a link down below to it if you want to go check that out with the April uh, Ipsy bag. And I love it. So if you want to go check that out, you guys can. That's what the swatches are about. Um, okay. That actually did pretty dang good. Dang good, sorry. I mean, it didn't really cover up the bags that I have because I, I haven't slept a lot, so I have a lot of you know, under eye, um, dark circles, so I didn't really cover them up. It, it did, but not, not a lot, not a lot, but it's not too light for my skin, so that's a good thing. Okay, and then now I'm going to take the Fit Me Foundation, this is like, like the, the matte and poreless, it's for normal to oily skin, so let's see what it will do for my dry skin. This is how it's how it is, and I am going to put it. I should have thought about this before I started this video. I am going to put it on my other hand here. How about that? Don't put, I don't want to put a lot on there because I don't want to put my. If I need more, I'll put it, I'll put more on there. And I'm just going to take my stippling brush. This is from Real Techniques. This is the stippling, stippling brush. And then I usually start this side for some reason. I think it's because I'm right handed. I just automatically start. And I, I, I know you're not supposed to do this with stippling brush. You're supposed to just kind of dot it in. But you know what? 
I just blend. I just like kind of buffer it in. <laughs> and you blend it down to the neck. Whoa, sorry about that. I like to do one side of the face first and then do the other. Okay. And then do a little bit more and do yeah, I should get a little bit more on the hand there. It doesn't, I don't know, it's not blending, at least on my skin, very well. It's definitely not poreless. I can see pretty much all my pores. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm not using it right or what, but it's not really hide, hiding much. I don't know if it was supposed to hide the pores or what, but it is not doing that. I can pretty much see all my lovely pores up here, up in here. Because I just blend it down to the neck. all pretty much blended. My hair is in the middle of everything today. And I usually do put it, put it over my lips because um, I usually like mat out my lips before I put lipstick on. So, okay, I'm going to put this down. And, I don't know, you can't tell in the camera, but this has pretty much taken my dry skin and it's like flaking off right now all over and you can definitely see it. And, yeah, like right here you can see the rough patch and on the corners of my nose you can see my rough patches that are just flaking off now but yeah that didn't really help my skin much I mean the coverage is good the coverage is a uh, full coverage which is nice but yeah I'm not really liking the whole look here I mean, you can see all of my dry skin, you can see all of my pores. It's supposed to be a matte and poreless. It did, it did, it's matte. It's definitely matte. Um, <laughs> that's no question about that. It's no, there's no shininess at all. So that's a plus, but it's also not poreless. Because you can see every single one of mine. It just accentuated them and accentuated the dry skin. I don't know if it's just my skin that's doing this because I don't know. But I will, I'm gonna put the setting powder on just in case it maybe it'll go away once I put the powder on. Well, that was weird. It opened up a set another section here. Don't know what it did. Oh! Ah! It's a mirror and a little puff pad thingy that I don't ever use because I use the brush. <laughs> so I'm going to take this brush, it's just the general powder brush, and put some 
powder on the brush and go to town. <laughs> Put it all over the face. see here. That's the only thing about these brushes is the generic ones they kind of fall off. <laughs> in my mouth. Okay. Yeah they kind of fell off. It's still there. Hmm. There we go. I got it. <laughs> yeah, that just kind of accentuated everything even more. My skin looks extremely dry and it looks just bad. So I would not, me personally, I would not get this particular one because this is for normally to oily skin normally normal to oily skin and I apparently have mostly dry skin I did not know that because I am used to having oily skin so I think it just kind of dried out during the, the winter time and now that it's spring and there's no s snow it might get back to oily because it's gonna be sweaty all the time but I probably won't use this again until like the summertime where it's I know I'll be oily maybe so yeah I would recommend this to people that have uh, oily skin obviously because it's normal to oily and that don't have severely dry skin because it's just and it doesn't look bad per se it just does not look flattering you know, you just see all this dry skin and you see all this, like, just the roughness of my skin right now. And I'm not too impressed. So, this right here is a no for me. I'm not really too impressed with it because I do have dry skin apparently. So, um, this would not work for my skin. But it would work for somebody who does have truly oily, really oily skin. So yeah, this is a no for me right now, but the, I mean, the powder, powder is fine, you know, so I, I love setting powder. And the, um, concealer, it did, it did cover the dark circles a little bit, and it would probably really cover, like, blemishes or red spots. I, I think that's what it would do, is cover that very well. So this is a yes, and so is the setting powder. These two things, I think, are worth the money to buy them. They're like 5 $6 at Target. It's where I got them. But at Walmart, they're probably about 5 bucks each product. So that's not bad. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really too impressed with this on my personal skin. But let me know in the comments below if you have tried the Fit Me um, the Matte and Poreless one. And how it worked on your skin and maybe I'm not doing something right maybe I'm I don't know maybe I'm just doing something wrong but let me know in the comments below if you guys have used it and what your guys impressions are on it um, I'll have a link down below to my Twitter my Facebook which I post on my Facebook which goes to my Twitter automatically I have an Instagram you guys can go follow me on that I use that pretty much all the time and I have a snapchat that I use you guys can follow me on that and I have a link LinkedIn LinkedIn maybe I don't know how to pronounce it but I'll have the link down below to that and you guys can go follow me on that if you're interested and don't forget to subscribe down right there I think and if you guys like these videos I'll have more up more regularly now that I have kinda of calmed down from school a little bit there's still a few weeks left but I've kinda of calmed down from it 
and life's kind of crazy right now, but I still will be doing these videos. I still have uh, I still have a review on like a box opening on one product that I just bought. I will have a couple more looks up from those products that I just bought. I have a little, you know, ideas. I saw the palettes and now I have ideas in my head of what to do. So I'll have a few looks up and maybe a, you know, a, a, what do they call it, a tag. Maybe I'll do a tag every now and then. I'm thinking about doing with my friend here soon, this Whisper Challenge. So that'll be up sometime in the next month or so. And, you know, I'll have videos regularly now that I've kind of calmed down. And you know, you can let you guys can always let me know in the comments below on my Facebook, on my Twitter, and everything what you guys want to see on this channel. I want to make videos that you guys will watch and that you guys are gonna enjoy watching. And so just let me know what you guys want to see, and I will definitely, definitely get it up for you guys. So on that note, don't forget that you are beautiful just the way you are, and I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.